So uh, it is 10 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, April 7th. It is the day of Cyber Rodeo. And crazy, crazy things have happened on this adventure. I bet y'all didn't know my hair could get this big. I do not have any makeup on. I am freaking exhausted. I got to Austin um, Tuesday night, but it ended up basically being Wednesday morning because it was like 1.30 in the morning on Wednesday morning. And I was too excited when I got here <clears throat> to <laughs> go to sleep. So I went to bed at like 3 o'clock in the morning, Wednesday morning. <clears throat> and then I got up at 6 a.m. and got ready for this Tesla Con walk which was amazing. It was like everything I could have hoped that it would be. Uh, it was very vague in the itinerary what we were gonna be doing, but it's exactly how I imagined it. And it was beautiful and amazing. And I met up with all these people that were so nice and welcoming and like knew who I was. And it just, it was awesome. We did this walk for, I don't know how long, over a mile for sure. And then we had the option to keep going for another three and a half miles, but I was too tired. like vigorously walking and talking with people and then trying to take pictures with them and add them on all these different platforms and tag them and everything. So uh, I did not go on the additional walk. Very few people went on that, I think. It was like an, another three and a half miles and walking twice as fast. So, so I left, I got lunch with one of my subscribers who has been there with me since the very, very beginning. And he is, totally awesome and then I met up with someone that to me is <clears throat> um, someone that I am like a fan of and that is this man named D Doug or Douglas and he has a podcast uh, Life with Mitty and he's on Twitter and he is actually the man responsible for the voice commands Google um, list that I added into one of my videos and I did get permission from him to give that list to all of you so that you'll have access to that and you can just save the voice commands list to your phone. He started the list originally and it's a compilation of, you know, everything that everyone has has added to that they figured out with voice commands. But anyway, that was a huge fangirl moment for me was meeting Doug and his wife, Deb. So <clears throat> that was amazing and I got to ride in his Tesla. <sighs> My first time on white seats. And so the three of us, um, Craig, Doug, and Deb, we all drove to the factory. <clears throat> and um, another amazing woman that I met on Twitter and Clubhouse went with us as well in her car. And we all went to go see the factory. And we got as close as we could on a dirt road. It wasn't close enough. And so then we took the highway and took the exit to actually go into the Gigafactory. And I made a video of us getting in there to security, but once we got up to security, I made a huge mistake of um, doing an Instagram live stream. And there's no service out there at the Cybertruck factory or you know Giga Texas or whatever you want to call it, the factory in Austin. Um, so my Instagram live was recording live, but then it never uploaded. And I completely lost the footage of security uh, telling us that we need to leave and turn around. But I will forever have that moment burned into my brain. It was an amazing moment for me. <clears throat> I still do not have a ticket to Cyber Rodeo and that's okay. But I've met people from all over the world, tons of people from Canada, London, Australia, all these people have come here, people have driven from all over the United States to try to get into this event. And <clears throat> it's just, it's insane. And so after the walk and then the after lunch, and then, so, so we did the walk in the morning and then I went to lunch and then we tried to get into the Tesla factory, got rejected. I lost my video footage and then we came back. I showered, I laid down for like 20 minutes and then it was off to the pub crawl for TeslaCon and we basically, all of the Tesla people that signed up for that third party event showed up at this bar and um, as soon as I got in there, um, I, I started talking to one guy that came up to me, a super, super nice guy, subscriber, big fan, 
and that was an amazing moment. <clears throat> and then Sandy Monroe walked into the bar and I totally freaked out and my fan that I was with saw that I was really excited and I told him, I was like, I have to get a picture with him, but I don't want to be rude and just, you know, bombard Sandy because other people were doing that. They were just immediately walking up and hugging him and taking pictures just one after the other. He didn't even get all the way into the bar and, and I didn't want to be like that. So I kept standing back and standing back and my amazing subscriber that I hung out with the rest of the night along with millions of other people, um, he got me over there and took a picture of me with Sandy and I took a picture of him with him as well. And so that was, that was amazing. And then I just, I, I couldn't even look at my phone. I didn't even drink any alcohol. I had like two sips of one drink. And I was just talking so much. I was carrying the same drink around for hours and I never drank it. <clears throat> um, and then uh, Tesla Joy walked into the bar and I saw her and I totally freaked out. My jaw about hit the floor and I was like, I started jumping up and down and, and I spilled my drink all over like her friends that she was with <laughs> because I was excited to see her because my jaw dropped and then when she said my name and like recognized me that's when I got really excited and gave her a big hug I got a picture with her so that was that was awesome and I, I basically we were supposed to be pub crawling which is like going to different bars but we stayed at the bar the same bar all night I got there about 6 30 p.m which we were supposed to start at 5 but I was too tired and came back and laid on my heating pad for a little bit <laughs> Um, but I got there at like six, six thirty, I guess, and I didn't leave the bar until mm, I don't know, like one thirty in the morning, and I was just talking with so many people, and all of you are so amazing. I I didn't even think that anybody would recognize me when I came on this adventure, and I had tons and tons and tons of you coming up to me and and saying hi and saying that you're fans and like, <laughs> um, you know, thanking me for what I do on my channel. And it was just, it was so amazing for people to appreciate me for all the work that I put into these videos because it's a lot of work. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like having a YouTube channel is a full-time job and if you're not making videos, you're editing videos. If you're not editing videos, you're planning videos. If you're not doing those things, then you're social networking and, and trying to help people and talking to people on Twitter and Instagram and email and Clubhouse. I mean, it is a full-time job. I am a one, a one woman show. I do everything 100% myself. And for people to, you know, y'all tell me all the time online how much you appreciate it, but to have people come up in person was just, it was insane. It was just out of this world. And I mean, and, and it's like almost a, a lot of people were just not drinking at all. I mean, we were just hanging out talking for hours and hours and hours. I mean, I was there from 6.30 to 1.30 in the morning. And all I did was drink water and talk to people at this bar and walk around. And I was just getting, I was just kind of floating around because people were just grabbing me here, grabbing me there. And it was just the most amazing feeling ever talking to all of these different people and just sharing the love that we have for this car and talking about how we're all there alone. I mean, I didn't, I only saw two people that came with another person and it's because they were a couple. Other than that, every single person I met, they traveled and they came alone. They did not come with friends or family and they're just, you know, solely hoping to just be there and be in the moment and hang out with other Tesla people and hope to maybe possibly get into the factory or go see it at least from the road. <clears throat> and I mean, one guy, that I met was at the supercharger and he drove from Canada, did not have a ticket or plans or anything, was sleeping in his car at the supercharger. Super nice guy. And I did meet him again at the bar too. And you know, he, he went to Tesla and they said, we're sorry, we're not gonna let you in. So then I, then some Tesla employees showed up at the bar and you know, there, I was talking with some of them about some issues that I've had with the car, like with the AC stuff and everything. And it was just crazy to be having that conversation, you know, to me, like the Tesla employees were like, 
I'm like, those are the famous people, you know, like those are the people that like, I want to go talk to. I like, I want their signature, you know, I want to go talk to them and get inside information and see like what, what's really, you know, going on in there. Like what's happening, what's happening with this party, what's happening with the car and the manufacturing and like, you know, have they changed this? Have they done that? Is, is this really true? And it was just insane. The things that we were talking about and, um, I, I had one person offer me a plus one to go to cyber rodeo and but you know they were like well it's not really for sure but you know if it does become available and I don't have anyone else to give it to you then I'll let you know so then I'm like I had come to terms with I wasn't going to go to the factory uh to to the big event the cyber rodeo and then and then this person tells me that and I'm like it's it's too good to be true and I think that it is but then right when that was happening, I also had not secured a ticket to get into the final main event for KesselCon to see Sandy Monroe talk and K10 and um, a few other people. And um, the guys that are uh, like the head of the clubs in Austin that uh, put on this event called me over and they gave me a ticket a, a wristband to get into the main event so that was huge too and I quickly took it and put it in my wallet way deep down in there and um, so I will be going to that event on Friday and I was like jumping up and down so excited that they were able to pull some strings for me and get me that wristband to get into the event on Friday because uh, that was really my main goal and you know it was a much lower goal than going to Cyber Rodeo but still the, that event was sold out as well so for people to go out of their way um, that set up all these events and everything and to give me a ticket like that to get in is just such an honor for them to know who I am and feel like I'm deserving of that. And I don't know, it's just insane. I, I can't believe all these people that I talk to at the bar. Um, I mean, and. I don't know it's just crazy and people were so nice coming up to me and just you know telling me you know why they love the channel and you know how it's helped them and how much they've learned and I even had this uh, older gentleman come up to me and we we talked for probably over an hour um, and I, I talked to everyone for a, a long long time and I was kind of bouncing around back and forth but it was, it's just so crazy to I don't know to to have these people know who I am and I don't know I can't really explain it I can't explain it but I wanted to remember this moment even even if I don't post this on my YouTube channel I just this was such an amazing adventure for me that I'll never forget like I'm just so thankful that my husband allowed me to I'm just so thankful that my husband supported me to come out here and him be watching the kids at home while I'm just like running around and having the time of my life and you know mingling with all these people and and just you know talking with all these Tesla people all these owners and and stockholders I mean some of them didn't even have Teslas they just have stock and they're here to support the factory as well and a lot of people didn't even have Teslas. They're just huge fans and they can't afford Teslas and, and they came to celebrate. So it's really, really crazy how all these people are complete strangers. We came from all over the world and we just showed up and we're like, you know what? I don't know. I'm just going to be here and see what happens. I mean, I have no plans. I'm just, I can't just not go though. And it's just, it's crazy to me how we all came together and just had such an amazing time. I mean, it was just 100% positivity and just talking about Tesla. And it was like the greatest time of my life. I didn't want to leave. And then my phone started dying at the bar and I needed to make sure that it didn't die because I had to call an Uber to get back to my hotel. And the super nice guy there let me borrow his portable charger for like over an hour at the bar. And so I sat down and charged my phone so that I would be able to stay and keep talking to people. And so that was amazing too. I mean, he just, he was like, here, just, you know, just take it for as long as you need. And I charged my phone up to 50% so that I could stay for like two more hours. 
And, and then I left and went to IHOP at like two o'clock in the morning with a group of people, uh, also amazing Tesla owners. And, and one of them actually didn't even have a Tesla. He was just there because he really, really wants one and he supports it and everything. And, um, we, we just all hung out and talked about our cars basically at IHOP for like an hour or more. And then, and one of them was a Tesla employee as well that we met. And then after that, I got an Uber back to my hotel and I got in at like, mm, I don't know, 2.30 in the morning last night. And then, you know, night, night before last, I only got about, I don't know, two hours of sleep. And so I got into my hotel late last night and I was up on Twitter trying to see, you know, what was going on, trying to calm down from the night and sober and hungry. I didn't even eat my breakfast, uh, dinner, <laughs> one o'clock in the morning dinner at IHOP cause I was just too tired to even eat. And, <clears throat> and I was still busy enjoying talking to people and soaking up every minute of it. And so anyway, I was on Twitter and some couple tweeted the husband that he asked Elon if he could get an extra ticket so his wife could go. And then Elon would replied and then Elon replied to him, um, security will not be strict at the door or security at the door will not be strict or something like that. And I immediately saw it and people started freaking out over it. And I, we were all like, what does this mean? What does this mean? Does this mean that you're going to let in more people? Does this mean that you're gonna, um, maybe the guy didn't have a plus one, but he should have a plus one because you know, everyone's been going crazy over that. So is that not a thing? And apparently, you know, the party is today. And late last night, people still only had an invitation from Tesla to the Cyber Rodeo, but it was only an invitation card. They still had not received their second um, official ticket, which is, a QR code for security to scan at the gate. They had not received that. <laughs> it's the freaking the night before and they still haven't received it. And then, you know, and then he tweets that security is going to be relaxed basically. And then someone followed up with that. And then Elon tweeted that he is going to give priority. And this is like at least the second time I've officially heard this from Tesla and Elon is that priority will go to the greater giga like resident area or a residence of the <sighs> residents of the greater giga area or whatever basically texas residents <clears throat> so austin and outside of austin and i'm in houston not far away so a tesla owners of basically austin and the greater austin area and that's me so i am hoping that i can show up tonight at the cyber rodeo in my Tesla Model 3 and show them my Texas driver's license that I'm from Houston and I'm hoping that they will let me in. I believe they probably sent out a lot of invitations that people did not RSVP to or that couldn't make it because, you know, a lot of these things were, you know, all over the place. But I, I also heard that most of the invitations are going to the Tesla employees, which makes a lot of sense. And I also saw things that, you know, Tesla doesn't want the media in there, like, you know, the news and stuff like that. They want us that actually care and, you know, are not going to bash Tesla for anything. Like we're going to be there and enjoy it. And we really care about it. So he wants employees there and he wants owners there. <clears throat> and it's just insane that it's the day of, and I had planned on having dinner with my family tonight that live here in Round Rock in Austin that I haven't seen for a long time. And I had to call them this morning and tell them, I'm sorry, but I can't have dinner with you tonight because I am going to be trying to get into Cyber Rodeo still because there is still a chance that I could get in. And I'm sorry, but I can't miss this opportunity. And my family <laughs> said that they understand. And they were like, you know what, just go do your thing and don't worry about it. So, I mean, it's, it's probably like 11 o'clock a.m. now and Cyber Rodeo starts at 4 p.m. and I've got about four hours of sleep, two hours of sleep the night before last. I am freaking exhausted and I'm wired and I'm tired and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna give everything I have and 
Today, my car has basically just been sitting in the parking lot at the hotel, just the battery steadily going down from Century. So I have to go find somewhere to charge my car today and, you know, fix myself in case I <laughs> can get into the factory and we're gonna try again. So it is insane. I, I've just, I have never experienced anything like this in my entire life. It's, it's like being high on life, but I'm completely sober. It's just insane. Uh, it, I'm sure that people that drive gas cars and are not into Tesla, they don't understand. And it's hard to make them understand. It's not like, you know, people always call it like a cult or something, which is so funny. It's not. It's just, I don't know. If we just all work hard and think outside the box, like we can have better things and we can have things that are more fun and more comfortable and cheaper, but also better for the environment and it's a whole, it's an idea, it's a concept that, you know, if we work hard and work together and we help each other and we have good teamwork and, you know, amazing things can happen. And this car has changed my life. It's crazy. It's just insane. I mean, when I bought this car, I didn't know anything about it and I didn't trust it and I was afraid of it. And now it's become such a huge part of my life that I wouldn't change for anything. So it's just crazy. It's totally crazy. I can't believe that this is happening and that I'm here. Wow. I mean, and it's crazy that I'm still getting drug along. Like I might be able to get in. I might be able to get past security. I might be able to go see inside of the factory and, you know, see this awesome party going on. I mean, and just the fact that there is like a half of 1% chance that I could get into this thing, I'm gonna give it all that I got because this is never gonna happen again. This is, this is the only time that something like this will ever happen in my life. So I have to try to get in. <laughs> and like, it's crazy that so many other people are thinking the same thing and I'm like, there's so many other people more deserving than I am. There is a guy here that I talked to last night and at the bar and he has a 2015 Model S with over 140,000 miles on it, and he drove it here to celebrate the opening of the factory, and he did not get a ticket to get in. I mean, that's just crazy. So, yeah, so that's where I stand. I, I can't believe this. It's just insane. And I, I have stopped doing the live streams on Instagram because I was really upset that I lost that video of me getting turned around by security at the... Tesla factory. So I, I did take a few videos of last night, but mainly just me and like pictures of me with people that came up to me and, you know, watch the, watch the videos and stuff. And, uh, but I mainly just took pictures with people last night. I didn't do that many videos and I just, I took pictures and I sent them pictures and I uploaded them and tagged them and let them take pictures and it was just so crazy that people even wanted to take a picture with me and everyone's like, you're famous, you're famous and I'm like, what are you talking about? Like I have like 9,000 followers, I'm not famous at all. Like I can't believe these people even know who I am. It's just, it's such a good feeling because I mean honestly I have worked so hard on this channel. <laughs> like it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. But I love it. I mean, I didn't start this channel to be a second source of income. I just started it because I love talking about my car. And I've been really lucky that it's really taken off and, you know, and it's it's turned into something that I do every single day is I baby this channel and I just love talking with people and sharing my passion for this car and helping new people and, you know, that are new owners and prospective owners and stuff. So it's crazy. It's It's been an amazing adventure and I mean, I shoot, I don't even care about doing my hair and my makeup and everything right now. I just want to give y'all something so that you know what is going on. I will do a compilation video later, but I think this video is long enough <laughs> for y'all to just, you know, have something to kind of know like, because I kind of just fell off the face of everything. No video this week. I stopped doing the Instagram uh, stuff as soon as I lost that footage. And 
so this this is what's happening right now i'm literally sitting in my hotel room trying to get the energy to get up and just get moving and not go back to sleep because i'm so tired and i just want to get back out there and and talk with more people and try to get into this freaking event so i have to get up and get ready now i've wasted too much time on twitter this morning i'm making this video and so i need to go charge my car i need to get ready and i need to figure out a plan for tonight supposedly um the the cyber rodeo starts at 4 p.m tonight and it i believe it's supposed to go till about 11 p.m but i have gotten some information that for people that don't have a ticket that they may be letting people in later like after the people that actually have tickets so, and I am going to drive my car because I want them to see like I am a Tesla owner and I do have a Texas driver's license. So I'm not really sure how that's going to happen. I basically am going to be on the freeway and it's like, at what point do I head over there? Because it's, um, I guess it's about 30 miles from my hotel. I'm not really sure. Um, something like that. And it's like, how long am I going to be sitting on the freeway? Like in line there's going to be tons of teslas lined up they may have shuttle buses we don't really know the whole thing is just so mysterious i mean the tesla con was mysterious too a little bit uh so it just goes right hand in hand with <laughs> tesla itself it's just crazy i mean there's a lot of details missing here i mean we don't really know what's going to happen like am i going to be stuck on i-35 you know at that exit for the factory and like have to pee or something and like be stuck in my car for several hours if I go too early if I go too late then will I miss my opportunity to get in and I'm gonna go by myself because I'm a Texas resident and all the people that I've met up with here um, that I'm basically friends with on Twitter and stuff or or other people that I've met up with that I just met for the very first time I met everyone for the very first time every single person but I mean like I've talked to some people online for a long time and basically everyone that I've made contact with that I still have contact with are not from here basically so there's a couple of them but they're you know so basically I have to go to my own car <laughs> because I can't take someone with me from another state and then they might not be able to get in because I'm sure if they do let people in that don't have a ticket I don't think those people will be will be allowed a plus one unless the other person I, I don't know I mean it's like there's no criteria really he just said that basically the greater giga area residents will get priority over everyone else because he wants the support of of texas so got that going for me i didn't bring anything to wear to cyber rodeo because i didn't think i was going to get in so that'll be interesting i made my own t-shirt with tesla logos on it which is copyright so that'll be interesting <laughs> um so yeah it's gonna be crazy i guess i'm just gonna get ready I might edit this video just a tiny bit put it up or maybe I'll just put it up raw I made a few mistakes I wasn't gonna edit this video I mean screw it maybe I'll just throw it up there for y'all because I'm too tired to edit <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed this video I know it's really really vague and I look like crap and it's not my usual video but this is where I am right now this is freaking insanity like I can't even believe that this is happening to me and we're still getting drug around like well maybe you can get in <laughs> don't get your hopes down maybe you can get in I don't know no you're definitely not getting in we're gonna get a venue and try to watch the party from afar oh wait just kidding maybe there's still a chance and I don't know nobody here knows what's happening <sighs> if there's 15,000 people invited to the Tesla factory and there's 4,000 people that registered, I think, for TeslaCon. And I think 2,000, were able, I don't know how many were able to get in, 2,000 or something, set a limit for the venue. And then there's got to be at least an extra 30,000 people here in Austin, Texas right now, this week, Monday through Saturday, for the event. And the Tesla, the real event, is only today from like 4 to 11 p.m. And that's at the Tesla factory. All the other stuff is just extra stuff that local clubs have put together to have meetups. So basically there's an extra 30,000 people, I'm guessing, in Austin right now for an event that lasts one day from 4 to 11 p.m. 
and, and, and half of them don't have an invite. It's crazy. So I'm just going to throw this video out there for all of you that weren't able to come. This is what it looks like. I've had six hours of sleep. I'm freaking exhausted and um, I can't give up now. <laughs> I just can't. I have to keep going. I have to try to get in there because it's so important to me to get in that factory. Um, there is a limit to what I'm willing to do, <laughs> but uh, I will definitely walk up to the gate and beg. That is that is not under, um, <laughs> I'm willing to do that. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I don't know, it's crazy. I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna throw this video out there, even though it's raw and un unedited and everything. And I normally edit out all this extra stuff and I even repeated a few things that I'm just rambling on because I'm freaking exhausted. But hopefully y'all can appreciate this video. It'll be the only video like this. And I didn't blow up my YouTube with live videos because I didn't think it would be good for the algorithm. And it wouldn't be quality videos that a lot of people would benefit from. But this is really just for all of you that can't be here and can now experience this with me. I mean, I just, I'm gonna start crying again. Like it's just insane. It's crazy when you think about how insane this is and there's no plan. <laughs> there's no like for sure plan. It's all very vague and mysterious and we have no idea what's happening on. We're just getting drug around by our heartstrings in the dirt. <laughs> Not really. I mean, it's more exciting than that because we have each other, but I mean, just wild, wild ride, wild rodeo. So yeah, uh, I guess I'll check back in with y'all soon. I've made so many videos. I haven't edited any of them. Um, I haven't edited any of them. Uh, so I have weeks and weeks of videos to put out when I get back home which I'm kind of dreading because I, I don't like editing. I just like making the videos, but yeah. So y'all have a good day. Uh, hopefully you're here. If you're here and I met you, thank you for being so amazing and walking up to me and just making me feel valued and like my time is worth it because I put so much effort into everything. So. I really appreciate that so much for making me feel like it wasn't a waste of my time. Um, that people really are benefiting from my work that I'm trying to do. And so thank you. I love you all so much. Y'all are, are just amazing people. Everyone I met is just so amazing. So yeah, wish me luck tonight and um, I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>